Hey everyone, what about here and welcome to T-30. It is a incredibly fast paced, I almost call it like a 4X game, but it's not really a 4X game. Effectively, you're trying to build up a civilization as fast as possible before a bunch of meteors come up or smash into Earth and wreck everything and kill everybody. And you're trying to rescue, oh, I don't know, 600,000 people. So this is going to be a bit of a doozy. All right, so I have some metal to start. Perfect. We want to just harvest those. What is that? What is that? Rune Road. Yeah, we want to grab as many of these th things as humanly possible. Uh, if and when possible. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to clear out a whole bunch of junk. Because it looks like it can just harvest freely anyway. Uh, question. Can I build a lookout on this mountain? No. Well, first and foremost, we are going to need a well. Ah, oh, shoot. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a mountain lookout on that, and we're going to get at least a little bit further. I am probably not going to play this correctly, but my goal is more just to see as much as possible and, and get as far as possible. Okay, put that there. Now here's a question. Well, can be placed right there. So we can potentially have quite a lot of farms. Okay, and then I'm going to extend that there. I don't know how many of the, these we need, necessarily, but this feels like a reasonable, or reasonable, feels frankly kind of excessive. Build a couple of those, that'll get us some food, don't have to worry too much. Okay, next order of business, I think we're going to need that. I'm not really going to be able to get through there, so I'm just going to... Go out here. Clear all the scrub land. Get me a lot of goodies. Oh, can I get that? Yes. I don't know if there's like a, a reason not to. Clear a lot of this junk. It more or less pays for itself. Kind of, sort of. Okay, put another one of these here. And we, oh gosh, we have a whole lot of things now. All right, scale that up. Looks like a lot of wasteland, for better and worse. Okay, I wonder if this will actually work. Hopefully it will, okay. So we got lumber, we have mines. Um, I guess we wanna specifically get to this building here. Now, we have this. Advanced Reclamation, Work and Energy. Okay, so we want to we wanna get some energy up in here. Because I'll do that for the moment. I wonder if there's... I know there's also solar panels. But I'm thinking if we want to do this, build an Advanced Reclamation site, hopefully it'll work. Okay, and we're going to need more housing to be able to do what I want here. So these require energy... But they do create compost, which is good. So one food, five food, ah, 10 work, 10 food, 50 work. So ah, oh, but they only transmit to adjacent structures. Got it. Okay. In that case, oh gosh, where do we even put this? Boy, cho choice paralysis is destroying me right now. Um, because I need to, I need some space to put this down. This seems like a reasonable spot. Okay, let's clear all this out. 
Having the clock ticking with no pause is destroying me. Oh, right. I should get a rocket down. That's a basic rocket. It's not perfect. We're gonna need a lot of plastics to get to the uh, to the other stuff. Oh, that's okay. All right, put that there. And we want to do solar panels right here. Okay, and that's enough for one of these. Farm needs replanting. Hopefully I have enough food for the moment. Yes. There we go. Okay, so how are we doing on power? 130% of power needs are met. That's kind of good. Okay. I'm just going to build one of these. Okay, so now we've got tons of work, but woefully insufficient food. Ah, 20 water seeds. Water and energy. This just requires compost. Okay, I'm gonna just put a well here. And hopefully that counts. I hope so. Okay, so my work is vastly overdone. Need more energy to operate at full capacity. Oh, only transmits to adjacent structures. So that's not as helpful as I thought it was going to be. Well, what else do we have? Generate seeds for renewable force and bio rockets. Requires a lot of water. Farm needs replanting. Okay, we're still running kind of low. Okay, needs more water. Shoot. Uh... Okay, so if I do that with, like, water? Okay. It looks like it's working. We might need another well. And I need 12 more wood. Okay. Well, this I can work with. We're on our way. We're barely doing anything. Basic rocket status normal. We have saved 400 people. Alright. Food is solved. These are solved. People are full. We need a better rocket. There's also the bio rocket. So 20 energy. 100 survivors every second while charging. So bio rocket requires seeds. I see. So 20 energy for 100 survivors. So I'm going to need the the Arboretum. Arboretums are going to require two of those. I'm just going to cover it in that. And we're going to want to look into yet more lumber. Okay. Should be good there. Oh. Okay, this isn't going to work. Let's get the resources back on that. Um, you know, all things considered. Oh, farms need replanting. Okay, let's do that. Slap those down. So I need a spot. Well, that's a renewable forest. Okay, this is 20 water, so it needs four wells around it. There we go. Okay, so now we're generating seeds. Not too many, but it's enough. And we need to figure out how to generate compost.
Okay. Farm needs replanting. This is a mild issue. Doing fine on food. Labor-wise, we are at a thousand percent, which is really confusing, and I'm not sure why. What is this? Oh, carbon from the atmosphere turns it into plastic, requires energy to function. Water type, huh, interesting. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that for the time being. Oh. Badish news bears. My lumber camps are gone. Is that actually that bad? No. I can just activate these. Uh, we might as well just go kind of hog wild here. It doesn't seem like there's a better lumber camp currently. And so we might as well just grab as many trees as we possibly can. Okay, so we're not, we are not saving nearly enough people. I think it's time that we get an advanced rocket. Okay, here's the question. We're gonna need power. Uh, hmm. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna slap it down here, because currently that windmill is doing nothing. So if I get an advanced rocket... And just give it a pair of windmills. Okay. There we go. And then I can get a bio-rocket down. Which is just... 10 water. So I just have to find a spot where I can slap a pair of wells down without really feeling like I'm... squandering resources. This seems like a reasonable spot. Okay, so we now have the bio-rocket. So the big issue is power. Hotkey F3 for power. Are those... The windmills should be 10 energy per second, yeah? Yeah. I am confused. Okay. Well, next order of business, I think we need some more space. We are not rescuing nearly enough people here, but I'm sure we will scale up once I know what I'm doing. Once I better know what I'm doing? I don't know. Oh, this is the edge of the map. Okay. So let's just go madcap lumber there. Farms need replanting. How are we doing on food? Beautifully. Okay, we could also potentially get a renewable forest. I think what I want is an arboretum, though. So this requires a lot of water. It does. There's the pump station, but I gotta find water to get to it. Okay. I guess I can just clear all of those out. I really appreciate the 30 minute timer on this. Obviously it's stressful and scaring me. But at the same time, there's kind of this feeling of... Like, when you're done, you're done. This is something that I, I often struggle with, I think, a little bit when it comes to, um, to various games where I'm just like, I really like this game. I want to spend more time with it, but, well, no, but it's like, but I don't want to spend, you know, 30 dozen hours playing it, if that makes sense. Oh, we lost our, our advanced reclamation site. That's why that was there. Okay. Advanced Reclamation just requires 10 power, right? 10 energy. Okay, let's send that off. We've got some seeds. So in that, that case... How much? 10 water. How much is this? So if I put this here... That should give me enough. Okay, cool. So now we've got at least a little bit of automatic wood generation, and I'm probably going to want to continue to do that. Let's extend that there. 
get a labor camp. We are just burning these forests, but that's fine. Normally with these games I try and go for like maximum sustainability, but that's not that's not what you do in this one. Why well, I wish I wish our society was was this immediately motivated to do right by the world. That'd be so lovely. Okay, let's get another bio rocket. Because bio rockets just require water to launch. And so I want to build as many of these things as I can. Which means we're going to need more seeds and we're going to need more renewable forests. So let's start with the seeds. 20 water every second. Okay. Just put it here? Yeah, I'm not using that area for anything else anyway. There we go. Rude. Build that. You know, other things. How much power does this require? 20 energy. Okay. I put it here. We give it a road. We clear this. I get a windmill here. I get a windmill here. Okay. So it should be generating enough energy? K kind of. Kind of not really. It's okay. Farms need replanting. Yep. So I should probably look into the biodome. Maybe. Oops. I didn't mean to put that down. Okay. How are we doing? Another bio rocket? Yes. Where though? Another bio rocket right there. Let's see if I have enough resources for an advanced rocket. Absolutely. Okay. It is just 20 energy to build one of these things. Okay, well, I've rescued some people. Not enough, though. Society is in for a bad lime. Here, I'm gonna get rid of this bonus. There we go. Okay, t yeah, 20 energy for one of those, so I just gotta get that. And looks like I'll have enough space for maybe one more. Is the basic rocket even firing? I have no idea. I wonder if you can actually win with those. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to just lumber the hell out of everything. Because I, I seemingly still have a ridiculous amount of people. And we want to get to some of these buildings. Um, here, industry. Get an advanced quarry. And then I'm just going to get a pair of windmills here. Set that up a little bit. Okay. I got 11 minutes left and we're not even close. I don't think we're gonna... I don't think we're gonna pull this one off today. But that's okay. Learning is fun. Let's just set that up. We haven't found any beaches yet. For better or worse. Wow. Yeah, we've cleared this out. I think the main thing is just I need to go so much faster, build so much more. Because, you know, normally I'm a little conservative with how, how I spend my resources on these games. And today it's super clear that, like, d no, don't do that. You don't need to.
Let's see, put that down. Get a, another solar panel, get another one of those. Oh, it really is only adjacent buildings. Good to know. Oh, you can only build it next to a road. I'm sorry, I thought this was America. There we go. I'm sure there's a more efficient way of doing some of these things, but... Hard to care. Okay. And we need some more farms. Now, I do have greenhouses. But I don't think I need them that bad. Oh, boy. Yeah, go figure. We're running low on food. Okay, set that up. And then we want to do... Scout Tower here. And then a Scout Tower. Oh, hold up. Perfect. I can do that. This way we can get a Scout Tower on top of one of these mountains. Get some more farms need replanting. Eh. I did my best. Is that water? Oh, that is water. Metal synthesizer there to just generate metals. Interesting. Possible. 20 energy. But here's a question. Okay, so I'm going to just put that there. Now, if I do this, maybe, maybe that works. Okay, so each one of these requires 20 energy. We should have enough, yeah. I really wish there was a way that I could actually check all of these. But alas, not super doable. Okay, one way or another, tons of metal. Uh, another bio rocket somewhere. Get that sent off. Yeah, we've barely sent out enough and we only have seven minutes. This is not going to go great for me. Okay, so the biggest issue actually at this point is plastics. Dig that one. I'm gonna dig that up. Okay, so we wanna put this here. We're gonna put a road here. We wanna get an industry. Why do you have to go so damn fast? I need more plastics. I think we'll wanna make the plastics generator because it seems like we are very much limited on those. Uh, let's see, is this a plastic synthesizer? 20 energy? Yes. Oh. And I can just kind of build it wherever. Okay, that's good to know. I skipped them because they seemed like they'd be kind of expensive or unnecessary. I was wrong? And I'll own when I'm wrong. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately... Doing that is not going to save us here. Yeah, we're hardly, hardly anywhere close to saving everyone. Okay, can I build more? Yes. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll be able to absolutely just pull this one out. Without even thinking. We we're a little low on compost, which is an issue. But we did just build a bunch of bio rockets, so that should surprise no one. Are we doing on food? We are beautiful on food. Okay, let's go back to this. That's that. We need stone, actually. 
Stone. Stone. Just put that there. We can get a couple of solar generators just kind of in this immediate area. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to succeed. There's just too much. And I was learning. But at the same time, I don't know. It's kind of neat. I'm really digging how this game functions. Okay. I'm just going to do that there. Gonna go back to power. Another power spreader. With a pair of solar panels. Okay. So yeah, those, those power spreaders are way, way better than I gave them credit for. Like, tremendously so? And I wish I had been thinking about that. Let's see, but then again, there's... I Like I said, there's so much. I think next time, get basic resource, resource chain going. Mostly focus on bio-rockets, I would argue. Let's see. So I need one of these. We need a water pump. Okay, question. T minus three, that's 50. So I could get a second one of these. The biggest, big issue I see with these rockets. Yeah, good to know. Get another one. Yeah, we need plastics. Yeah. I, it's fine. I should have gotten a bunch of these set up, is the real answer. And yeah, just really daisy chained a bunch of power generators all over the place. Because then we could have done something, as opposed to saving. I had 71,000. Yeah, it's not great. But learning is a process. Learning is fun. Let's just speed it up. We're not beating it at, at this point. But at the same time, I don't know. I, I want to do another round of this. This is really neat. It's definitely not the most, like, um, deep game I think I've ever played. You know, was, I hope that they had more tech or something. I almost feel like... Most survivors ever saved. 90,000 people. Well, I get a bronze star. It's... it's fine. Now, is this an early access or is this just totally standalone? I... I don't know. It looks like they've been updating it, but not too much. So I think this might just be one of those games that you... Um... It's... it's more almost kind of like an advanced Flash game. You know, you spend 30 minutes on it, you say good enough, and then you come back for later. It kind of reminds me of... oh, Terra Nil where it's more of, of the puzzle and the the challenge of the immediate environment that you've been thrown into as opposed to you know anything particularly depth uh depth deep or long running i think the thing that would make it really interesting would be just like maybe every 5 minutes you get a, a randomized power up that changes what you do you know maybe more people but maybe there's also the occasional disaster that throws things off i think that could make this feel real fresh for long periods of time. But you know what? Is what it is. It's a fine game. I think it's only 10 bucks too, so I shouldn't really expect too much from it. And speaking of, I think 10 bucks is a very fair price for what this kind of game is. You know, just pick it up, play it for half an hour, have a lot of fun, and then move on. And yeah, we've barely even scratched the surface on what I can do and, and how well I can manage all of this. And I'm really looking forward to actually being good enough at this game to save a lot of people. But, for now, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more random new indie games every single day, hit subscribe. And if you want to see more T-30, I might actually uh, put some more time into this. It has a lot of what I'm looking for in a game. And, I mean, very clearly, I, I barely even got a decent... Well, I didn't even get a decent score on that one. I really want to see if I can... You know, if I can pull it off correctly on like one or two of them. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.